In this lecture, we are going to answer the question, what is the IAPP? We will look at the IAPP's mission and then answer the question, what is a knowledge net? Originally, IAPP was an acronym that stood for International Association of Privacy Professionals. In September of 2024, however, the IAPP rebranded as just IAPP. And why the IAPP rebranded, we'll see on the next slide with its updated mission. For now, know that the IAPP was founded in 2000. It is currently the largest organization for privacy professionals in the world. IAPP holds a number of excellent global conferences throughout the year. And they also offer a tremendous amount of support and guidance through various resources for their members. These include newsletters, podcasts, training, reports, surveys, and other publications. Again, in September of 2024, IAPP rebranded. It is no longer the International Association of Privacy Professionals. Instead, now it's just IAPP. And with that rebrand came a broadening of its mission, which is now to define, promote, and improve the professions of privacy, AI governance, and digital responsibility globally. And so with this rebrand, the IAPP has expanded from being concerned with just privacy to now including AI governance and digital responsibility. The last thing I want to talk about here is the knowledge net. And what knowledge nets are, are local IAPP chapters. There are over 60 knowledge nets throughout the United States and another 100 or so throughout the rest of the world. A knowledge net is just a group of local privacy and AI governance professionals. They are led by volunteer chapter chairs, and they hold regular social events and CPE events. You'll remember in the previous lecture, when we were talking about the CIPM exam, that once you successfully pass the exam and earn the certification, you have to maintain that certification by obtaining 20 CPE credits every two years. There are a number of ways that you can earn CPE credits, and one way of earning them is by participating in local KnowledgeNet events. Again, these local events, they are a mix of socials for which you would not receive a CPE credit. Those are typically networking events. And then CPE events would be something like a panel or group discussion on a specific topic. In this lecture, we have defined what the IAPP is, and we have also talked about KnowledgeNet chapters. Again, IAPP originally was an acronym for International Association of Privacy Professionals. In September of 2024, IAPP rebranded to include, in addition to privacy, both AI governance and digital responsibility. And if you haven't already, definitely do a search to see where your local KnowledgeNet chapter is. This is a great opportunity to meet local privacy professionals and earn CPE credits.